Hello guys, how are you? This is su amigo Alex, your friend Alex, and today I'm going to show you how to unlock a Samsung Galaxy S22. I have two Samsung Galaxies S22, one is locked and one is unlocked. So I want to show you how to identify when your device is locked or unlocked. I'm going to put a SIM card by Mint Mobile. Let's see what happened, all right? It says network lock. Enter network unlock code. Your phone isn't allowed to use this SIM card. That's it. So you have to put dismiss. So let me take it out. And then we're gonna put it on the one that is unlock. This one here, it's unlock. And here's the SIM card from Mint Mobile. Okay. And it goes right here. We don't have any message, so how can we know we have service here? Look at this, Mint Mobile. Network Mint in service, okay? So this one is unlocked. We don't need to do anything on this one. I just wanted to show you. Okay, so let's take out the SIM card and let's put it on the other one, okay? That's it, okay. And again, it says enter unlock code. Your phone isn't allowed to use this SIM card. I'm gonna click dismiss. So how can we unlock this Samsung Galaxy S22? First of all, let's check what carrier locked this device. Open your favorite browser. You're gonna search for IMEI check. This is the website, click there. So we're gonna go to the menu. Since this is a Samsung device, you want to use Samsung IMEI check. And here they ask you for the IMEI number. Okay, so go back to your about the phone and you're gonna click the IMEI. Select the physical one. Don't use the ISIM, use the physical one. Come back here, it's already there, boom. So I paste it and then click check. Look at this. This is all the information about this device. Country, United States, carrier, AT&T. Now that we know that the original carrier of this Samsung Galaxy S22 is AT&T, we're gonna search on Google AT&T Unlock. AT&T Unlock, okay. Click on AT&T Device Unlock, Device Unlock. It says, your device installment plan must have zero balance to request a device unlock. By the way, I don't know the history of this phone. I just bought it and it's locked. So I'm going to try to unlock it, all right? Start an unlock request. Do you have a mobile number from AT&T? Select no. The IMEI, you're going to click, click and hold. You're going to click and hold and you're going to paste. Okay, and look at this. The portal recognizes the device as the SM-S91U. This is the model, which is the S22, right? Click on, I read the legal info, and then click next. Here you're gonna put your name, last name. Now on mobile number, don't even click there because if you click, you're gonna have to put a number unless you have an account with AT&T. Email address, we're gonna put suamigoalex5 at gmail.com. And here you're gonna type it again. And then you're gonna click submit. And it says, thanks, we got your request. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna log into our email. It looks like we finally got it at 117 and right now is 118 so one minute ago all right so click here you open the email and the only thing you need to do is you need to click here confirm your request click there thanks for confirming that means that the request is going through i mean they're working on it so you're going to go back to your email you're going to click on check the status oh bad news it says current status denied it says, we can unlock your device because there's an unpaid balance linked to it. You can submit a new request after the balance is paid in full, okay? Deny. That's crazy, guys. So, I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, you know? I have another device that we're going to try right now. Let's see if we have a better lock on that one. Okay, guys, so we have another device that is locked. This is a Samsung Galaxy 811, okay? Let's see what happens when we put a, a Mint Mobile SIM card on a phone that is locked. Let's see. What's going to be the message? The same thing, network lock. Enter network unlock code. Your phone isn't allowed to use this SIM card. Okay, I'm going to put dismiss, and I'm going to try with the same method, okay? First, let's get the IMEI. IMEI, click and hold. That's already on the clipboard. Now, search for AT&T unlock. AT&T unlock. Here it is. AT&T device unlock. Start an unlock request. Do you have a mobile number from AT&T? I don't. And you're going to click and hold and paste. I mean, this phone is really slow right there. 
the portal is going to recognize the phone as a Samsung SM A11 5A. I read the legal info. Now, next. And we're going to do the same thing. Alex Suniga mobile number. Don't even click there, guys, because if you click, you're going to have to put a number. OK, so don't even click there. Email. We're going to use the same email. So amigo Alex five at Gmail. So you need to type it again, but it's right there. Good. And now we're going to click submit. It says, thanks. We got your request. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to log into Gmail. And look at this, guys. It's 1030. And at 1028, I got the email. Look at this. And click here. Confirm your request. Okay, so now it's confirmed. Now you're going to go back to your email. And you're going to click check the status. It says pending. Okay. Now go back to your original email and click check the status again still pending so you have to wait a couple of minutes guys it's not uh, automatically check the status approve you can see it right here current status approve so i got denied on the other one but i got approved here and this is the code guys so take a picture of the code and then we're going to use this code how so we open the sim tray and then we close it again it's going to ask for the unlock pin 82, 83, 90, 30, 92, 53, 50, and 62. And I'm going to click unlock. Verify network unlock code, network unlock. And now this Samsung Galaxy is going to read my SIM card. I'm still not seeing Mint here. I need to see Mint to about the phone status information, SIM card status. And look at this network mint in service. Wow, this one is extremely right here, guys. Finally, mint right here, mint. All right, so let's make a phone call or oh, 611 at least. 611 call. Thanks for calling mint mobile. Hold on one second while we get started. That's it. So that confirms that this Samsung Galaxy S11 is 100% unlocked. We couldn't unlock the S22, but we unlocked this one. So you should try, guys. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's the best way you can support me so I can continue doing videos for you. I appreciate your help and I'll see you on my next video. My next video, I'm going to try to unlock this Samsung Galaxy S21. About the phone, yeah, S21 5G. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you. Bye.